Hello and welcome back to Grenade is Sick. Uh, Unreal Part 7. 18. 18. Confusions. The day may come where... Now, <laughs> as we have sent the elevator down, we need to go through the cave system again in order to get to that, uh, in order to get to that area. Sadly. But first, Gerdat needs to know if there's any way in the world he could possibly retrieve his hockey puck from the sewer grate. That hockey puck is just long gone, dude. Just long You gone. slap the shit out of it and then went into the sewer. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't even want to... It doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. It removed me off its freaking Facebook page. <sighs> I'll say it. Talk to you later. I'm swimming. Hockey puck too, damn it. <laughs> We will be swimming later, in the, uh, maybe not in this part, but in this level, because there's not a lot of stuff to do underneath the water down there, but it's still important to go down there. To traverse space and time. Oh, look, mercenaries. Yeah, hey, they don't know we're here. <laughs> Yay, we killed two of them. Oh, it's like a body cannon, except they're the except they're the bodies. <laughs> There's a nolly in there. You, We're being attacked by more by more mercenaries. Are you freeing your bros? Not my not our bro not our bros, but you know our worshippers. So yes, Earth exists in this universe because they mentioned Terra as in a Terran girl. Apparently, there was uh, another escaped convict, uh, not off of our ship, but off of the other ship, the I the ISV Karn. And uh, she ended up spending a, cu a couple of days here. She had books. No, she did not. These are these are uh, uh, logs from the mercenaries that were here overseeing the uh, overseeing the capture and detainment of the various nollies and this Terran chick. I wonder what getting deranged means. Uh, castrated. Fuck, dude. Or it's the equivalent of getting cast. They're gonna rated. D his rank. <sighs> yes. Man. Makes you makes you kind of wish they would just had John rang his D. <laughs> Here's the thing: we're not entirely sure if the mercenaries have D's to, with which to rank. We're not entirely sure about the sexual anatomy of uh, the alien species that were, that are about. I always understood it as like aliens are always just human counterparts in that they also reproduce sexually. Yeah, but that's not the, really the case uh, with all aliens, you know. Not all aliens reproduce sexually. Are you saying that my Mass Effect fanfiction is a lie? Not a lie, just misinformed. Alright. Uh, we are scouting the books for a particular uh, clue of where to go next. Because this is bluff ever smoking, and I dislike, and I don't dislike this level, as I've said before. It's just too goddamn big. Does it? I mean, does it also take a while to get through? Uh, because of its because size. Of size. Honestly, it's a relatively straightforward path once you know where you're going. Unfortunately, getting to know where you're going is a problem. This is one of the most like intense background music tracks we've had in this game so far, and yet there's nothing going on right now. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be in constant combat while you're going through B Bluff Ever Smoking. The problem is, well, there's, you know, almost no dudes here anymore. We killed them all. So, Cloud, I was showing you a few of the spoilers from the upcoming Am uh, Amonkhet set. Yes. Are you excited for anything? I'm excited for everything new and everything cool. Which is to say, huh. I can't say anything specific. Ah, damn. You, you and I ought to find a program by which we can play Magic the Gathering together. I would love to sh We have one. We ha we, dude, you and I have played Magic on Cockatrice before. Have we? Yes. I was uh, you were the one that brought me back in the magic uh, during uh, in, when Innistrad was coming out, and uh, I started playing Mono Black Demons from Innistrad. I still love that deck, despite the fact that it flat out doesn't work. I would love to show you some of the decks that I've built, like my not Mono Black. Uh, but I don't like playing modern. Modern, uh, modern right now is you know turn three 
If you if you didn't win, you're losing next turn. At least it's not turn one. Yeah, but that's vintage. No one actually plays vintage. Yeah. You can still do some stupid shit with vintage cards. I actually I, I just discovered um, a looping combo in in one of my current decks. Um, with uh, with a card called Nether Shadow. I don't know if you know Nether Shadow. Or, uh, uh, sounds like one of the shades. It, it is a. It's basically. It's not really a shade. It doesn't. It doesn't have shadow. It, it can't attack directly if your opponent doesn't have any shadows. But basically, if you run four of them in the deck, and all four of them are in the graveyard, then the whichever one is on the bottom gets special summon during your upkeep. However, you can use activated abilities that allow you to sacrifice creatures to loop your shadows as many times as you need to to get plus one plus one counters. Yep. Which, and as soon as I realized that, I took out the fourth nether shadow. Really? Because it's, because it's dumb. <laughs> like, of course, of course I'm gonna just put infinite plus one plus one counters and maybe get trample. Uh, anyway, one of the notes that uh, that they just showed off is that um, the, the Nolly have a spiritual belief in us, specifically us. They knew we were coming. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Now, is this a chosen one plot? Kind of. Our, our arrival wasn't technically prophesied, but it was hoped for. Does it feel? Does it make you feel that much more badass? Eh, uh, slightly. Would you have preferred that you were just some guy? Yeah, I would actually prefer that we were just some chick, honestly. <laughs> Where? Here are the Nolly praying to one of their deities. Yes, the god. The and then the mercenaries come in and attempt to kill them because they because they worship the god of asterisks. Hey, the god of asterisks is very important in many cultures. Yeah, he's like a footnote to other cultures. <laughs> He's the god of references. And when you see him, you see Ah, the main gate guard tower. Now we can start actually making significant progress in Bluff Ever Can we do that? Once we un unlock the stuff at the guard tower. Are we gonna crush this guy? I don't think I hope so. hope not. Nope. There we go. Oh no, please, not the elevator, no! Unfortunately, we had to hit the button again for the elevator to go back up. Okay, hit the button. It, you have to get off the elevator to hit the button. Okay, now jump back on. We're good. Uh, I forget, is there a Scar Warlord up a here? Warlord. Why do games always assume that the higher ranking officers have more health? Uh, well, they... They tend to, honestly. It's a game design thing. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, a lot of these guys were just sitting in a cadet academy. I mean, while their minds were abuzz with strategic formations and phalanxes and stuff, meanwhile their bodies are weakening with unuse. Except the majority of, of cadet academies require that, you know, you re you retain phys uh, physical shape and uh, uh, a regular fitness schedule. Yes, which is good. Which is a good thing. I like I like knowing that at least people have the muscles to feed the brains. Ah, it's a merc. A scar merc. He's not dead. He's still not dead. Are you he, sure? He looks he pretty might dead be to me. Dead. Well, you didn't see his corpse. I demand to see a body. More Teridium shards. Ugh. I want that body, damn it. <laughs> uh, well, the body is gone, so there. <laughs> Alright. This. This part has always annoyed me. What you need to do here is ignore this elevator. Okay. And you need to platform your way uh, over to the spot and then jump over the lasers. 
What happens if you try going through the lasers? The lasers are insta kill, oh. as the dude will demonstrate. God, damn. It's a good thing they put somebody there in order to demonstrate that. Otherwise, you might have had to fucking restart from a save file from five minutes ago. Discharge zones to be open at top of Bell Tower. Getting to the top of the Bell Tower is our next main mission. After, of course, we uh, turn off the lasers. But how do we turn off the lasers, Cloud? With uh, with the off switch. Yes, but where is the off switch? It's right next to the kitchen light switch. No. It is behind the lasers. You get behind the lasers by jumping from a higher point, of course. Yep, now we have access to the bell tower. The hydro lasers. They do not really look like water lasers well, to me. Well, they're powered by water. See, how, see those... That makes See those sense. bubbling water chambers? There must be all kinds of electrolysis and shit going on in there. Have you ever made an an, elect, an electrolysis powered car, Gerda? No, I have not. Mostly because I lack the mechanical skill to do so. It uses solar panels in order to uh, excite a diode or something through water, and it creates hydrogen, and I, I believe it creates hydrogen gas. Uh, v uh, via the constant of energy uh, energy manipulation, yes, right? Yes, by, by running a live current. It's very, with very low voltage, mind you, but it's a live current. Uh, but now that we have successfully uh, uh, gained permission to access the bell tower, we can walk out the front door. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gurnet does not want to walk out the front door. Was to explore and get now items. I remember where I've seen that asterisk before. That's the FedEx icon. 